let's start with uh, 2,500 meters cubed. We're going to convert that over to feet cubed, knowing that 3.281 feet is equal to 1.00 meters. So please convert 2,500 meters cubed into feet cubed. Um, Mark? Multiply it by 3.81. 3.281. Oh, sorry. 281 okay. feet over 1.000 meters. Okay. Okay, so let's be careful. What do you mean by cube the whole thing? Just the whole thing. So I'm going to do this, right? But I, we've got to be careful because this is where people make a mistake. Because people will often do this and say, okay, so let's bring the cube underneath here. We'll do 3.281 feet cubed over 1.00 meters cubed. Right? This is the mistake people generally tend to make. Ms. Johnson, what do we need to do as well? Where's the mistake right here? We also need to cube the numbers because remember, this is 2,500 meters cubed multiplied by 3.281 feet over 1.000 meters times 3.281 feet over 1.000 meters and one more time. Because what the cube means is multiplied by itself three times. So what do we get, please? 88,299.59. Okay, that's one thing that's rubbing. Feet cube, we need a dimension. What's the other thing that's wrong? Uh, right. We need the correct amount of six We need to make sure we. I, what we're going to do, it's okay. I, you would have given. He would have given it to me. He's going to be very upset. Okay, so <laughs> 88,000 feet cube is the answer. Okay. Gets us to the concept of sigma figs. In this class, you should be aware that the book, by default, has three sig figs. They'll give you numbers like 100. And then you'll go to the answer and you're like, but they have three sig figs on their answer. And they only had one in the knowns. It's a sad and unfortunate thing, but they will do that. So please be aware of it. The book, by default, has three sig figs. In other words, if they don't mention anything about sig figs, they just assume that whatever numbers they give you are have three sig figs. Okay, so how do we work with sig figs? Let's say we have knowns, and we know the displacement is 2.56 meters, the mass of the object is 13.1 kilograms, uh, the initial velocity in the y direction is 14 meters per second, and the acceleration in the y direction is 17.2070 meters per second squared. We do a bunch of stuff that I like to call algebra, even though some of you did some stuff I call magic on your quizzes. We come to an answer. How many sig figs should our answer have? Um, seven. Two. How did you get that? And why did you choose the last initial? Just to be clear. Okay. You go with the least number of sig figs from your nose. So because the velocity initial only has two, your answer is also going to have two. And be careful as you're going through and doing your algebra, do not round. You do not round as you go through a problem. You only round to the correct number of sig figs when you get to an answer. In fact, if you have parts A and parts B, you uh, need to make sure that you round to get the correct number of sig figs for part A. But if you are going to use your answer for part A to figure out part B, you then need to use the unrounded answer from part A. We'll clearly go through that 
many times in the class. Uh, let's do this one. Class dimensions are your friends. <laughs> dimensions are your friends. Please remember to invite dimensions over to play every day. Jay, tell me what you're going to invite the dimensions over to play. Uh, Scrabble. Scrabble, Connie. Lo. Nice Carolyn. Um, Number one answer, family feud. Cheryl. Sure. She's lost. Can you believe it? I know. You didn't have last year. That's okay. That's why. You're lost. Deeds, you're going to invite dimensions over to play? Um, air hockey. Air hockey. Peddler? Go fish. Go fish. Sam? Checkers. Checkers. You need to make sure that you are going to invite dimensions over to play every day. Games like checkers. Go fish. For example, Monopoly. Because dimensions are your friend, you need to make sure on a test or final exam that dimensions are your friend. When you ask them and you say, dimensions, can you help me remember what a jewel is? Ah, yes. Well, ah, you know, I've been playing a lot of checkers with you lately. So I will tell you that a jewel is a newton meter, and a newton is a kilogram times meter per second squared. Therefore, you see those centimeters in this problem? You need to convert those over to meters before you start. You'd be like, dimensions, thank you. I'm so glad you're my friend. Want to play checkers tomorrow? <laughs> okay, but if you have been ignoring dimensions all along, when you ask dimensions, what's a jewel? They're gonna look at you and say, I don't know. I like Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll try again someday. Okay, so please make sure you are playing with dimensions every day. I also do want to mention the Bill Dix phrase, which is no naked numbers. There are a few numbers which we will not clothe in dimensions, but with, for the most part, you are going to make sure that any answer you give will have uh, a number, or I'm sorry, a dimension to clothe it. 